In this video, we'll be learning about account settings. If you want to change the password to your PC, if you want to add another user to your PC, if you want to change the photograph when you log into your PC. So these are some things related to account settings. Let us see one by one. I'll sh first show you how to open the account settings. You can go to this place windows. And if you see there's an icon given here, that's the icon. If you click on this place, it says change account settings, lock, sign out. So I'll say as change account settings. Once I click on this place, you see I've, I've come to this place. That is settings. In this, I am in the account and your info. That is the first method. The second method, I will show you how to reach to this place. So first thing is I will close it. Go to this windows, settings. On the right hand side, extreme right, if you see there is an accounts option. So I will click on this accounts. Again, I will be jumping to this place. So the shortcut method is in this place, you can go click on this place and say change account settings. I think that would be the best, easiest method to reach at this place. Now I'll just click on this part. Now it says your info and these are the two images given. The first image will be your login image. When you log in for the first time, you'll see this kind of image. Now how do you log into your computer is, if I, how do you lock it? First I'll show you how to lock your computer. You know the windows key on your keyboard and you press L key, windows L, L for lock. So if I press Windows L from my keyboard, my computer would be locked. Now if I want to sign in again, I'll just press enter from my keyboard. See the image, it's a tutorials point icon which is given here and the name is given as tutorials point. If I want to change this image, how do I change it? So I'll first click on this sign in. Simply what I have to do is I have to click on the second image. The second image would be shifted here. Now again I'll press, I'll lock the computer, Windows L. I'll press Windows L, the computer is locked and now when I press enter, now you see the second image has come, right? So this is the method you can, you can change the image at the second screen, I mean when, welcome screen, I'll again click on signing. Suppose you do not want this both the images, you want some other new image to be added here. So you can just scroll down, create your picture. So either you can capture your photo from the camera like this, you can click on this place and the camera would be started at this place. And you can just see here and you can capture the image please. But I'll not go for this. No. Okay. And I'll just click on this part. No. So you can use the camera part also. Second thing is I'll just first show you camera part here. And I can just click on this place and I can see us clicked. So this image has been captured here. Click on done. Okay. So this image is been captured here. Now, if you don't want this image, you want some other image, you can just click on this browse for one. So I'll just click on this browse for one and you have to find out where is your image. So I have one image in some folder. Maybe you, you might not have on your folder. So you can just download the image and you can pick up. Let's say I have this image. Click on choose picture. Yeah, that's the image which I'll get when I log in. So again, I'll press Windows L or I can say just lock the screen. Again, when I press enter from my keyboard, and you see the image has changed automatically. So various methods, various methods to change the screen whenever you want to log in, right? So this is the your info account. Next is email and app accounts. So email and app accounts, if you want to add an email account where you can track your emails, your calendars or your contacts, so you can just add an account here. So once you click on this add account, you can add an account which is with respect to Outlook, Exchange, Google and so on. Suppose if you have a Google account, you can just click on this Google, enter your email ID and you can just, I'll just type here as email ID here and then your password and sign in. So that account will be added to your place itself and I'll say as allow. So it's creating an account that account will be added to this place email calendar and contacts so whatever contacts emails i have that will be loaded to my pc and i can use those also i can say yes account was successfully set up so i'll just click on done so this account has been added here i can access all these options on this place so next is sign in options when you log into your pc you might not have the password by default do you want to give a password to your pc 
I mean, I'll just show you what is the password here. When I lock the computer, I'll press Windows L from my keyboard, Windows L. And when I sign in, if I click on the sign in, I'll be directly logged in. That means anybody can come into my laptop account, anybody. So I'll just click on this place now, but I need to be secure. I need to give some password. So I'll say as sign in options and I'll go to this password. I'll say as add password. So new password, I'll give a simple password one, two and three. And I'll say as one, two and three. I'll just show you the password that is, you see one, two, three. Again, I'll enter the password one, two, three. And I'll give us one, two and three. That's the password which I'll say. And I'll click on this next. And I'll say as finish. So now the account has been given a password. How do I check it? If I go back to this place and uh, if I if I lock my computer, press Control L, Windows L, Windows L. And now when I press enter from my keyboard, now instead of sign in, it is asking me password. And I know the password. So I'll put as if I put a wrong password, if I put seven, eight and nine, press enter, it says the password is incorrect. Try again. So I'll click on OK. Again, I'll give someone password one, two, three. And now it will be able to log in. So that's the password thing which you have to keep in mind. Next is family and other people. Your computer might be used by your parents, by your children, by your colleagues, your wife, your husband, anybody. So what you can do is you can give an account access to them. They can access your PC, but not into your personal things. So that is nothing but creating an account, family and other people. How do you create an account? If you see, I have already created an account for other people and I've added user one. I've already done that. How do you add another user? So you'll just click on this, add someone else to the PC. If I click on this place, whom do you want to add? So I'll just type here, how will the person sign in? So I'll type email ID or phone number. Sometimes you might not have the email ID. Some person might not have the phone number, maybe. So what they can do is, I don't have this person sign in information. I can click on this place. And next thing is, you can see again, it's asking for your email ID. If you want to create your account or you can say as add a user without a Microsoft account. So it is asking for you to add an account that is Microsoft account. Do not go to that, enter that area. So I'll say as add a user without a Microsoft account. It's very simple and easy. Click on this place and I, I'll give the username. Let's say I'll say as John. I'll type here the name as John. Okay, he's my colleague and I'll enter the password as 456. What is the password? I'll tell you that is 456. Yeah, that's the 456. Again, I'll enter 456 and the password hint I'll give us 45 and 6. That's the password hint. Click on next and see the John is added here. Now, if I log out from my laptop, from my computer by pressing Windows L, Windows L and suppose John is going to use for the next time. That's the first time when he'll be logging it. So if you see, I have added here as John. So I'll click on this John. Okay. It's asking me for the password for the very first time. When you give the password, when you go inside the account four, five, six, the password I've entered and click on this place. Now for the first time, when you log in, it will give some settings part. Let us see that it says, hi, you are happy. We are happy you are here and it will give some information. The reason they are giving some information is please don't. So do not turn off your PC. It is getting configuring the time. It is showing the messages because it is configuring your PC and it will be from the fresh start. That means no applications maximum. The desktop would be screen will be empty. There will be no more applications and much more settings will be from the scratch itself. So the user who will be logging for the first time, he'll get a fresh PC itself. It will take some time. Let us see that. Make sure you do not turn off the PC or don't do some changes. It will automatically set up the account. This way you can add different users. I have added a user without the email ID, without the phone number. Suppose if the user is already having the email ID and phone number, that would be another method. Now, if you see, the screen which is there, I have only this recycle bin and I have this Google, Google Chrome here. In my screen, I had the this PC, I had the recycle bin, I had some folder shortcut, but this person has got the entire complete blank itself. So it's complete. The screenshot, if you see the desktop, it's totally different here. 
Now suppose if you want to switch back to the other account, go back to this windows, click on this account and you can see tutorials point signed in, user one signed in. If you want to sign out, you can just click on this sign out button and you will be signed out from this account. Signing out, it will take time. And now if you want to come back to your screen, what you can do is you can just press enter here. And uh, I don't want to go into the John part. I want to go into the tutorials point and I have the password. If you know the password, that is one, two, three. I'll type the password as one, two, three, one, two, three, and I'll click on this enter part. Okay. So once the password is correct, it will log into your screen. And if you see, yeah, you see we were in the settings part. So the place where you left immediately will come back to the same place itself, right? And that's the part given here, right? So I hope you're able to understand the different settings part which are in this place, okay? Which are in this place. You have to go to come to the systems and then you have to jump to the accounts. So these are different things. You change the image, you add the photos and uh, you add some email account, give some password, add some family member and you can work with us, right? So I hope you're able to understand different settings related to your account and so on. That's all for this video.